Hello everybody, it's Mike Levin on Thursday, July 21st, 2022. And I am currently running both Windows 10 and 11 right now. You'll see here is my, my Windows 10 system that I really use for my day-to-day -day work. But here I am on Windows 11 and I am at the point of stripping out the last of these icons so it can be as trimmed down of a you know visual clutter as it is currently on Windows 10 where I show basically nothing except the apps that I'm, I'm currently running. I don't care about all the rest of these things. I actually would like to have dragged them under uh, hidden. See this like you can on Windows 10 but you can't do that with certain system icons. It's, it's really nuts so you have to live with that distraction plus all this there's a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be uh, getting rid of but on this video I'm just gonna get rid of probably these four icons and I'm doing that through a Google search which showed me uh, this page here where people were discussing it and it came up with this insane advice to uh, press Windows R and run this command and of course I'm thinking oh that sounds so uh, shady this is like almost all registry editing stuff but I scroll down and I, uh, I gain confidence in what they're saying. So here I go uh, with Windows key R. You can see I already pasted it in there, but that's basically what I copied from, from up there in uh, this command here. Copy and pasted it here. And uh, now when I run that, I get this interface coming up. Look at that. Look at that. How is this not just part of the standard Windows operating system? Uh, so this is right in line with the inability to switch between virtual desktops real smooth. If I do a four finger swoosh, I can, I can kind of sort of do it. But if I do the control Windows keys, it's an instantaneous jump that makes it totally unknowable which virtual screen you're on. It doesn't show you the transition. You can see going between virtual screen one and two, but it's just not the same as this to this. And these are the rough edges that are still on Windows 11 that I'm waiting for them to smooth out before I, I change over to it full time. But let's see how many of these icons uh, we can hide. So there's Windows Explorer, only show notifications, hide icon and notifications. We don't want that sh any of that stuff showing, right? So I'm going to go through all of these. Oh! I guess a change like that's pretty darn dramatic. It restarted my desktop. Which means I'm probably going to have to uh, Windows key run this program again. Windows Explorer show only show notifications, hide icon and notifications. That's what I wanted. And uh, that did that strange screen thing. Okay, Windows security notification icon. Security notification. I guess if there's a security thing, I'll want to see that. I'll leave that one showing. Microsoft Teams, hide icon and notifications. Mo notifications ux.exe hide icons and notifications I think that's what it was on MS Teams hide icons and notifications oh turn system icons on or off always show all icons and notifications on the taskbar turn system icons on or off here we go clock off it says off but it's still there volume it says off but it's still there some settings are managed by your system administrator why can't i change settings customize notification restore default behavior oh my goodness let's see what happens if i hit okay do any of those go away there were four there before there's four there now Turn system icons on or off. What happens if I turn that on and hit OK? And now if I go back here, turn it off, 
and hit OK. Clock is still there. What WTF? Notification settings. See, this is where normally, or one of the places you would go. There's another one here. This is in a strange place. Personalization. Okay, notifications off. Focus assists off. Get all notifications from your apps and priority only, alarms only. <sighs> okay, so the other place is under personalization, taskbar, and here's where I ch turned most of that stuff off. So this is where I get the feeling where most of this stuff is supposed to be hidden. Ah, look, I got rid of that little uh, thing to the right there, so one thing gone. But this thing here, why can't I change some settings? Totally useless. Ghosted? Maybe this has to be run as administrator? So how would you run this? This is system icons. So I got to that by Windows key R. Now it doesn't give you an option here for as administrator, but this is called turn system icons, notification area system icons. What is notification area icons under? Notification area icons. Maybe it's a program called notification area icons. Oh, look at that. Notification area icons. Let's see if that runs the same thing. No, it doesn't. And in, most importantly, we need to do it as administrator. That's, that's the thing. Ugh. So what in the world does this even stand for? Shell colon colon colon. And then a memory location. Or something. So the problem is that this is not running as administrator. Can't hide these. Ugh. Microsoft, Microsoft. What have you done? So this one is lying, and these are inaccessible, these other ones. Oh, look at that, input indicator and action center, but they're both off already. Notification area icons as system administrator. Let's see if there's any discussion on this about the inability to turn things on or off. Most of mine were grayed out. Only three available, clock, network, and action center. And on top of that, all three were set to off, and yet all three show in the tray, and changing values did nothing to actually change them. Too soon, too soon, too soon. These things cannot go away, it seems. How can that how can that be? How can a modern operating system not let you get rid of icons on the desktop? It's nuts.